In this video, I'm going to show you something really exciting, how to build a complete AI automated pipeline to extract, transform, and load data that we scrape from a website. We're going to go from scraping the web data, shaping into the format we want, and then storing directly into Google Sheets using NA10. And the coolest part, it only takes five nodes. Let's get started with a demo. We're going to scrape this book's website, but it can be any uh, website that you're interested in. This website has the book information, including the title, the costs, and availability. And there's uh, about 20 in this page that we want to scrape. So at the end, we're going to transform that data into title, price, availability, the image URL, as well as product URL. So this is uh, what we want to uh, get into the Google spreadsheet. So how are we going to do that? Let's go and take a look at our workflow. We only have four nodes. It's a very, very simple workflow, but very, very powerful. So let's go ahead and run it. I'll explain as it runs. So we're going to fetch the data using a service called Gina AI, and this will go to the service and extract information in Markdown language. And then we're going to extract using this AI node here, this information from the Markdown, and then the format we're going to uh, uh, go into more details of that in terms of how we tell the AI what we want in terms of the output. And then after it's extracted this, we're going to split it out so that each title of the book or each of the book becomes uh, one row, and then we add it to the Google Sheets. As you can see, it's uh, now populated and all done very simply with four nodes. Let's take a detailed walkthrough now, starting with the Gina service. The service that we're going to use for the web scraping is a new service called Gina.ai. It allows you to scrape the website and make it LLM friendly very easily. You simply uh, put in front of the URL, r.gina.ai, and then your URL, and then it transforms that into a large language model friendly text that we can uh, use to extract this information. And the uh, free plan is very, very generous with 1 million tokens that you can use uh, free. So there's there's a, a lot of things you can do within that envelope. All right, so how are we going to use that service in our workflow? This is the first part of our workflow. And I'm getting a HTTP node. And as you can see here, I have this uh, r.gina.ai. So that I prefix that to the uh, website that I want to scrape. And then uh, I have my API key. So you can specify here header uh, authentic authentication. And in here, there's an API key that you can get. So you specify authorization, and then you put the API key in here. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And uh, and then you, you can run it. Now, the next node we're going to uh, talk about is information extractor node. So this information extractor node, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tell uh, the large language model what is the format that we want to extract. So I want the price, I want the title, I want the uh, image URL, I want the product URL, and availability. So there is this node called uh, information extractor that comes out of the box. But how do you get this, uh, what's called a JSON schema? All right, how do we, how do, we do that? So let me show you uh, a very easy way to approach this. All right, the approach we're going to take is we're going to use Cloud.ai. So this is a, a competitor to ChatGPT. So Cloud.ai, uh, there's also a very generous uh, free uh, service that you can use. There's also an upgraded service, but we're just going to use the free service. So what we're going to do is uh, take a snapshot of this. So I'm going to just do a, uh, a snip in my Windows. So I'm going to just take a picture of it, save it. And then I'm going to now paste this picture that I've saved, right? I'm going to paste it into here and use the vision capabilities of Claude. I'm going to say in here that given this web page, I want to scrape with an LLM. Can you suggest a JSON schema for the LLM to extract the title, image URL, price URL, and availability, right? So it's going to take this picture that I've uh, that, that I've saved and uploaded. And then it's going to help me determine uh, what will be an appropriate JSON schema. All right, so it's going to generate this. All 
All right, so it's going to generate that schema, and then I can just copy this and then put that into this array here. All right, that's how I generate. So pretty easy. It looks complicated, but it's actually there's a good approach that makes it very easy. So we do that, and then finally, this uh, split node. Uh, what it does is that it takes the results that uh, are extracted, and then it splits it up into, in this case, uh, 20 separate lines. And each line then executes this Google Sheet. In this Google Sheets, I tell it uh, where I want it to store. So book prices is a spreadsheet that I've created with uh, sheets. And then to to map it automatically. So I've already specified the title, price, availability, image URL, and product URL in my spreadsheet. And then in here, I just tell it to map it automatically, and then I execute the workflow, right? So very, very simple. In four easy steps, I'm able to take from this data here to my uh, transformed uh, Google Sheets.